Ultimia Poseidon D50, 5.1 channel soundbar with subwoofer. Let's begin by carefully opening the box. Inside you'll find the user manual, and some accessories. Then the soundbar and subwoofer. The two surround speakers are located in the bottom of the box. We provide you with all the cables, no need to buy them separately, you can check your accessories with the picture. First, let's assemble the surround speakers to subwoofer. Find the stereo RCA to RCA cable, the white cable for left, and red for the right. Connecting the power to the subwoofer. For a better listening experience, the surround speakers should be placed at or near ear level. Alright, it's time to connect your TV. There are five ports on the sound bar. There are four ways to connect your TV. Firstly connect to your TV via ARC output. Find the ARC HDMI cable. ARC is preferred if your TV has an ARC or ERC output. Other HDMI in ports of the TV are not supported. Plug the HDMI cable into the HDMI port on the sound bar. Find the power adapter and connecting to power. Press the ARC button on the remote control and check the LED shows ARC on the sound bar. Select HDMI mode in your TV settings. There is also an interesting and useful CEC function when using ARC connections. It allows the TV remote to control both the sound bar and TV at the same time, turning them on or off and adjusting the volume. Try controlling your TV and sound bar with the TV remote. Try the volume adjustment easy and fast right. Finally, close with one click. Secondly, we show the optical connection. Find the digital optical cable. Remove the protective cap of the cable. Insert one end of the optical cable into your TV's optical out port. Then remove the other protective cap of the cable, align the port shape, and insert into the sound bar. And connect the power cord. Press the OPT button on the remote control and check the LED shows as the picture on the sound bar. Select optical mode in your TV settings. Also, you can connect your TV with a UX cable. Find the stereo 3.5mm to RCA audio cable. Insert the 3.5mm AUX end into sound bar. Insert the other AUX end into your TV's audio out port. And connect the power cord. Press the AUX button on the remote control and check the LED shows as the picture on the sound bar. Note if you want to change the output from AUX to another output mode when AUX is connected, you need to unplug the AUX cable before the sound bar can work. Prefer wireless, here, Bluetooth connection. You can connect the sound bar to your smartphone. Press the BT button on the remote control and check the LED shows as the picture on the sound bar. The sound bar will mention searching. Then turn on your phone's Bluetooth. Connected. Search and connect with device Poseidon D50. Also, if your TV supports Bluetooth output, you can connect the soundbar wirelessly. Press the BT button on the remote control and check the LED shows as the picture on the soundbar. The soundbar will mention searching. Turn on the TV's Bluetooth in settings, search and connect. Connected. Sometimes you have followed the steps to connect, but there is no sound. Don't worry. First check your subwoofer link. If it not paired, you can repair it. Press and hold the base MX button on the remote control for 5 seconds, the LED will show sub flashing, then press and hold the on, off button on subwoofer for 5 seconds, the white LED will be fast flashing, then it will pair with sound bar, the white LED will be solid on when the subwoofer is paired successfully. Also it may about TV PCM settings. First set up TV PCM, normally as below, Settings, Sound, Digital Audio Format, Auto, or Pass-Through or PCM. Some TVs also need to change the audio output, from the TV output to the sound bar output. 